anytime anybody asks me the question of why you get, uh, why I'm active in, in social activism, in social justice, uh, that is the answer. Is why not? Right? Why aren't you outraged by what's going on in our in our communities, in our society, in our country? There's people in jail right now who are who are innocent because they haven't been proven guilty, and the only reason why they're in jail is because they can't afford bail. The purpose of bail is to get people to come back to court. That is the whole idea. It is not to keep people in jail. It is not a punishment because it is imposed before a person is convicted of any crime. So every person that is in on misdemeanor bail is technically innocent, right? And often they actually are innocent. It costs us $194 to hold somebody in jail in county. And the process in which we go through that in determining who stays in our jail, again, is an antiquated system that really just sitting there and watching it has no, has no uh, accountability. When we're talking about people who are accused of exactly the same thing, and the only difference between their cases is that one can pay $2,000 to get out and one can't, it's really, um, it's shocking, right? Because what we see is that there are two different systems of criminal justice in America, and there's one for people who can pay bail and one who can't. People in King County, 90% of our population that are in jails are poor people. And so, look at the statistics and the numbers, who is the cash bail system really serving? I think it's, it's just a moral obligation that humans should have to themselves to treat others fairly and like humans. And regardless of what law, just because the law is in place does not mean it's morally right. If people who are in power, the people who are in place, who take a, a much harder look and reflection of themselves in the mirror to see how they would want to be treated themselves as human beings, I think that we find a, a, a plethora of solutions.